The Delaware Riverkeeper Network is calling on federal authorities to take action following reports that PSEG's Salem nuclear facility water intakes are trapping and killing endangered Atlantic sturgeon in the Delaware Bay. As a result of reports that are being filed with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, what we have found is that just during the first four or five months of this year, a dozen Atlantic sturgeon have been caught in the intakes of the Salem Nuclear Generating Station, and over half of them, seven of them, have been found to be dead. So we have a genetically unique line of Atlantic sturgeon that live in the Delaware River. These Atlantic sturgeon exist nowhere on Earth but in our Delaware River. There are less than 87 spawning adults that come into our river every year from this genetically unique line. So we can't afford to lose any sturgeon, let alone seven in just four or five months. The Salem Nuclear Generating Station needs to stop using once through cooling. They need to comply fully with the Clean Water Act, minimize their adverse environmental impacts, which means minimize their fish kills, and that means installing closed cycle cooling. Closed cycle cooling will prevent the unnecessary kills of the Atlantic sturgeon, of the short-nosed sturgeon, of endangered and threatened sea turtles, and all the other species of fish that get sucked into that plant every year. Over 3 billion Delaware River fish a year die um, in the Salem Nuclear Generating Station cooling water intake structures. That could be reduced by over 95% if PSC&G were to install closed cycle cooling rather than to continue to operate with this outdated once through system that they have. According to reports, PSEG officials say some of the dead sturgeon might have been victims of ship strikes outside the plant. So PSE&G is doing what PSE&G always tries to do, which is divert attention and responsibility from, this, from themselves, trying to assert that somebody else is responsible for the impacts to the Atlantic sturgeon. But the fact of the matter is, a dozen Atlantic sturgeon in four to five months have been sucked in by these cooling water intake structures. Seven of them are dead. Um, and you know, the, the, while the cause might still be under investigation, this is a demonstration that the endangered Atlantic sturgeon are getting sucked into that facility and being impacted by them. And it needs to stop, and it can stop. The National Marine Fisheries Service, as far as I'm concerned, is equally complicit in the harms that are being foisted upon the genetically unique line of Atlantic sturgeon that live in the Delaware River. They have repeatedly failed to take action to protect our Atlantic sturgeon. They allowed the Delaware River Deepening Project to move forward as it was proposed, despite their own acknowledgement that the Deepening Project would have serious and significant ramifications for the population of the Atlantic sturgeon in the Delaware River. There, is the, uh, there are a number of river fill projects that are going to damage, devastate the critical habitat that the Atlantic sturgeon need for spawning in our Delaware River, um, such as the, the, the fill and the dredging and the destruction that would happen with the expansion of the Southport port project on the Philadelphia side of the river, um, with the expansion of the Philadelphia airport that's being proposed. And time and time again, we are not seeing the National Marine Fisheries Service stand up in defense of this highly, highly endangered species. 